Hey yo, uh, welcome to the uh, sun, sun slider video. Sun slider video. I just knew I got myself into trouble when I when I said you can do it because I'm sure I can't do it the way everybody else wants to do it. But here's a house right here. This is this is what I thought you guys wanted or what someone else, what someone might have wanted. So here's a house right here. I just opened it up. Okay, HG. It's an HG view. And I guess if I go uh, LK, I use a lot of hotkeys. Generic sun. Sun follows camera. There it is right there. And so if I spin this around, I think the sun is following the camera. The camera's behind me, okay? Watch the shadows. I think they kind of stay where, they, where they're at. However, that's one way of doing it. However, you want a sun slider, which is a, a particular time of day, right? So, okay, here we go. I use sun angle, and I tell you, in my plan, I have, this is how many different sun, angle, sun uh, dates I have. I have uh, a December... I, this is because this is this is for uh, 2011, 2012, 2013, 2014, 2015, and this is for whatever it is. So these this is this is for my front elevation. I use this for my front elevation. This is for my left elevation. That's for my rear rear elevation. That's for my right elevation. So when I open up my elevation, it's already been sent to layout, and I open up the right elevation. That's the sun angle it's using. And if I don't like the the, the, the sun shadows, I can change it. So now let's do a sun study on this thing right here, and let's just use. This this is like my like my like my my junky thing. Okay, I, I can change this all I want right here. And so edit. Here we go. Edit. Uh, this is latitude, longitude is all set up for where I live, and I live down in uh, you know where. And so it's June twenty second. Blah 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 blah. Tap 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 tap. That's one o'clock. Here's the sun slider portion, and, and maybe it's not the sun slider portion. Here is that a sun study? I don't know. Uh, is it is a is it, is it a slider? I don't know. You tell me. But this is what I can do. That's what it looks like at 9, 9 a.m., 10 a.m., uh, 11 a.m., 12 a.m., uh, 1 p.m., 2 p.m., 3 p.m., 4 p.m., June 22nd, 2015. What about in December? What what happens in December? Here, here it is right there. That's where the suns are in December. And if I just thumb through it, look at this. Look on the right-hand side, 3 p.m., 2 p.m., uh, 1 p.m., 12 p.m. I mean, I don't know. What else do you want? Is that a sun slider? I don't know. It's not. I guess it's not a, technically a slider, but I can change the. Di I can change it by hour, by month, or whatever. So anyway, I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm sure this isn't what you wanted, but it works for me. I'm not sure what else I would want. A, a slider? That's, I suppose. I mean, if I had a slider here, I could just slide it. What would I be sliding? I'd be sliding from 10 a.m. to 10 10:05, 10 10:10, 10, 10, 10, 12. Well, this is almost the same thing. You know, I'm just. I'm, I'm using my arrow keys. You can see in the bottom right-hand corner here, 2 p.m., 3 p.m. Look at the bottom right-hand corner, 4 p.m., 5 p.m., and I can see where the shadows are. I don't know. I don't know what else you want. Sept here's September. At 4 p.m., 5 p.m., blah, 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 blah. Okay. And now, just to show you how I how I sort of do this for my, um, what what's sent a layout, and I, I got, got a, a layout somewhere. Um, I was see a... Um, Camera elevations. Here we go. Uh, I'm going to turn on all my camera elevations. Ugh, if, you can, if I can find them. Uh, I got a I got a front elevation here somewhere. Probably should be here somewhere. Anyway, maybe it's not. Anyway, here's here's the right elevation. I open up this camera right here. This is my right elevation. Uh, uh, H vector. There. That, and now here's the key. My right elevation, I'm using the year 2011, 12, 13. I'm using the year 2014. See, 2014. Because I use a different year for each face of my, my house. Front of my house is 2011. Left side of my house is 2012. Rear is 2013. Right is 2014. So now if I don't like because because this is dependent upon where the sun is, right? And where this where the sun is for this particular house on this particular lot. And if I don't like uh, that sun shadow, I just go over here and edit it, uh, seven tabs. Now I'm at 9, 9 a.m. Watch this, 8 a.m. See, I can change the shadows. What What is going to show best on my elevation? That's the question. And I just pick out the one I like best. And that kind of shows the uh, the depth of it, the best. best. And if I show you my, I can't believe I don't have my uh, W. Uh, uh, I'll say what the heck. Uh, I, I wish I had my front elevation somewhere. This is my right camera. Uh, stop. Stop. I found from my front elevation cam camera. It was on a different layer. It was on the wrong layer. Look, I just have, uh, I have, 
uh, a layer for my camera sections right here. I'm going to turn that off. I have a, a layer for camera sections that are not planned. Those are the sections that I don't use. I already got a camera there, but I'm not, I'm not going to use it on a particular project. Uh, where's another cameras, uh, inactive. I don't know what the heck that means. Elevations there. So I should only have my, uh, should only have four cameras operating now. There, there they are right there. One. Well, you, hey, who cares? They're there. Hold on. Okay, I, I know what I was going to say. It, it, you know, I use the SAM method, so all my stuff is already there and whatever else. But here, this is this is what I'm getting at. I've got here's my north arrow. It's in every plan. It's already there. I rotate it depending upon the plan. But then I have these things right here, right here, uh, nine, and I'm going to change them to blue so you can see them. I already have uh, six cameras set up. A nine. Uh, I'm at uh, five hundred. I already have um, five, ca four, six cameras set up. Here they are. Uh, th these are the these are the uh, sun angle cameras. Uh, nine. How about this nine uh, sun angle? Let's use a thirty. There. You can tell what 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 day what time of day it is. That's uh, nine a.m. on the for the thirteenth. This is on the twenty fourteen. Whatever. Whatever. You get what I'm saying? So I have, I've already got six of these cameras set up. Now here's the here's the pistol, and this is something that CA didn't realize. If I do an overview shot right here, if I do an overview shot like this, where where where's the where's the sun? Where's the sun? The sun is it's using one of my cam one of my sun angles. It's defaulting to one of my sun angles, and I'm going to tell you. That if you don't have sun angles, like I already have in my plan, if you don't have sun angles, what it's going to default to, I think, is use generic sun, sun follows camera. So this is my, this is what ticks me off right now, and maybe CA will fix it. When I do a, an overview, this is what I want to see. And this is, this is, thank you, Lou Buttery. Lou Buttery, this is one of Lou Buttery's uh, contributions. Use generic sun, sun follows camera. When I do an HH view, when I do an overview like this, this is what I want to see. I want to see. I want to see the little buttery sun. I want the sun behind me. Is it just? Uh, I, I just do. So my my point is when you when you when I do a, uh, a, a overview, the, what what takes me off is I have to always go into here, adjust sunlight. I have to hit use generic sun. Sun follows camera, and now I can meet with my client and show them whatever I'm going to show them. Because if I don't do that, the sun might be in the wrong location. Not a big deal, but a little pet peeve of mine. And that is the end. That's the end.